In this video, let's talk about another category of always continuous functions. The name of this category of the function is polynomial function. So we are going to say that and memorize that from now onwards that polynomial function is also like identity function and constant function everywhere continuous. Now for that proving purpose, let's take into consideration a general polynomial. Let this is the general polynomial fx which has the expansion as a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube plus a4x raised to the power 4 and it goes so on the highest uh, power or highest exponent or the degree is n. So the last term is a n x raised to the power n. Now you already know what is the condition on n for a polynomial function. The value of n must always be what? It should be always greater than equal to 0. That means it should not be negative. The other thing that my n should always belong to integer. That means it should not be a fractional value. If I have a suppose some constant quantity, so anything say 2, x raised to the power 5 upon 2, it will not fit into the category of polynomial because polynomial always have integer values and greater than equal to 0. That means whole numbers, right, in short. And what about all these variables? That means x x should be any real number. This we know about polynomials from our class 9th also, right? Even in class 8th also we started, but yes, in detail we started in class 9th. Now when polynomial we know, what is it? This is a polynomial function. We basically have to prove that yes, this polynomial function is continuous everywhere. Now for that, let me prove it with the help of taking different values of n. Suppose I take n is equal to 0 as the first value. If n is equal to 0, what happens? These all values, because x raised to the power 1, power I am talking about is n, no. If it is 1, this will not be considered. This will not be considered. This will not be considered. Only the first term will be considered. So I have fx is equal to a0 into consideration only. Now what is fx is equal to a0? a0 is nothing but a constant, right? So this is similar to a constant function and I know that constant function since it is a constant function and I know that constant function is continuous everywhere. So even this polynomial function when n is equal to 0 will also be continuous everywhere, right? So this is done about n is equal to 0. What about when n is equal to 1? So next is let n is equal to 1. When n is equal to 1, what will happen? Let me make a box for it. When n is equal to 1, that means here n is 0, here n is 1. So my function is basically a0 plus a1x. Now it is a0 plus a1x when n is 1. What is this? This is a constant function. This is a constant function. What is a1? A constant. What is x? identity. So that means this is the product of a constant and identity, right? So product of two continuous functions. See constant function, continuous everywhere. Identity function, continuous everywhere. So product of two continuous function is also a continuous function. Hence, this is continuous. Now constant function we studied is also continuous. Now continuous plus continuous is what? Always continuous, right? So that is why fx when n is equal to 1 is also continuous because it is basically the sum of two continuous functions. So even this is continuous. Now you already know what is mathematical induction, right? So this is something like to that only, similar to that. We took n is equal to 0 first, n is equal to 1 also we saw that yes. So one more thing I want to tell that okay, for power till n, I know that yes, my polynomial function is coming out to be continuous everywhere. If at two places it's continuous, similarly at all places it will be continuous. But what about the polynomial with the degree at most n, at most n? Or I say that if my polynomial changes to gx and that polynomial is nothing but a0 plus a1x, plus a2x square, till here it's same, rest is also same, but the last term this time is not an x raised to the power n, rather 
this time I have a n plus 1 x raised to the power n plus 1. If this is the new polynomial I am talking about with the last term a n plus 1 x raised to the power n plus 1 or with the degree n plus 1, what happens? Is this again a continuous function that I need to see? Now what happens is this is a0, this is a1 x and so on. Can I do this thing? a0 plus x can I take common? If I take x common what is left inside a1 plus a2 x plus so on till till a n minus 1 x n minus 1. Why? Because I just have taken common x. So this has to be in fact a n, a n x n minus 1 plus what? Plus the last term which is a n plus 1 x n. Why x n? Because I know that here x n plus 1 means x power n multiply by x. So I have taken what common? I have taken x common. Now what is left inside a1, a2x and all? Have a careful watch and look at this. a1 is a constant. a2 multiply by x product of constant and identity. Similarly, so on constant and identity and so on or a polynomial. Basically, it is what? A polynomial. Either you do it like this constant multiply by identity which is again a continuous and all or directly say that everything is what? It is nothing but a new polynomial function and you know polynomial function is continuous everywhere. We saw it here. It was continuous for n is equal to 0, for n is equal to 1. So we said that yes polynomial function is continuous everywhere, right? So now when I have something called as this, howsoever bigger expression do I get? If it is a polynomial function, howsoever bigger, even if more terms are added, then also it will be continuous. Why? Because you can take out the variable and inside again it is a polynomial function. This being a polynomial, continuous. This being constant, continuous. Plus sign is there. Sum of two continuous functions is continuous function that we saw in algebra of algebraic operations of continuous functions. So that means what? That means my always continuous functions that I have studied so far have one more addition of polynomial functions which is also continuous everywhere.